one, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. And this week's plan is spiders. So I've got my planner filled out and in my binder. And I thought I would show you what we're going, some of what we're going to be doing this week. So I've got my circle time basket. And make sure to go back to my circle time video so you can see the details of how I use this basket. But for right now, let me pull out some books that we are going to be reading. We've got Eric Carle's The Very Busy Spider. And we have The Itsy Bitsy Spider. We'll be doing several versions of this story and this song. We're also going to be having some fictional books about spiders so we can talk about some facts about spiders, some simple facts. And then what I'm going to do is show you. This is, I found this, um, this container that holds my CDs perfectly. Because, I don't know about you, but when I'm ready to do a song and you've got all the children sitting down and you can't find your CD, that drives me crazy. So I found a little container here by Sterilite. Just a little container, you can't lose the lid because it's a day. So I'm gonna show you some, a couple of fun ways that we're gonna be using the song, There's a Spider on the Floor by Raffi. Put that in there. The first way is by having some little spiders. And you can, we found these at a local um, grocery store, but you know the little, those ring spiders, those work perfect too. Any kind of little spiders you have, make sure you have one for each child. So that's the first way. The second method involves you making your own props. And we're gonna be doing that this week. And this will be in a separate video, so make sure to look for it. But they're going to make their own spider props that they can use. So we're gonna do the song two different ways. All right, so we'll start with the, the spider. Spider on the floor, on the floor. So they put their spider on the floor. There's a spider, spider on, on the floor, floor on, on the floor. floor. Now they have to pick up their spider and put it to the next body part. The spider's up my leg. Now it's on, my, on leg. my leg. Now the spider's on my leg. We on will my do leg. that for all oh, really, really body big. parts. This old spider that Rafi on my talks leg. about. There's a spider on my and leg. And then we will also do it with leg. our props. So same way. The spider's on my stomach. On my so stomach. So they put their their paper plate the spider on, on their stomach. On my stomach. Oh, he's just a dummy. This is a great way for them to learn their body parts, stomach. too. There's a spider on my stomach. And can they have to stomach. listen. Now the spider's on my neck, on my neck. Can move it up to their oh, neck. The spider's on my neck, on my neck. So that is going to be something fun that we are going to be doing during our music and movement time, which I like to do at least once a day. And everything is ready to go. Now let me show you what we're going to be doing in the other areas of our classroom for our Spider Week. So here's some of the things that we will be doing during our Spider Week. At our Play-Doh table, we will be having small spiders that they will be pressing into Play-Doh, making little spider molds. At our sensory bin, we have spiders. For our chalkboard, I taped a square orange, because orange is our color and square is our shape. And then they can take the um, chalk and they can turn that square into whatever they want using the chalk. For our light table I have a spider web that's been put on there with masking tape and then there are small cubes that they can put on top of the masking. At our puzzle table we have assorted puzzles and we also have this fun little um, activity that I have been doing for years. I saw it somewhere, but I honestly don't remember where. And you just take a, um, like one of those wire shelf, um, where little shelves and you, they can take different types of clothespins and they can attach them to the wire. For art, we are making our spider puppets, which I mentioned earlier. At our science table, it's all about spiders. I put some spider webs in the window and attach some spiders and, and then we have a, a book with some facts on spiders and then a plastic spider web um, placemat, I believe I got it at Target, and then some 
big spiders that I got on Amazon. We just have some other little displays. Um, we have some owls and we have some bats. So that is our classroom set up. We'll put a little bit more out when we actually come back for starting school at the beginning of the week. But this is just kind of a, um, a layout of um, how I'm planning the week. Thanks for watching.